What's going on everyone? Juice Packs here and welcome back to some Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I'm uh, looking good. I got gears, I got a base camp, I got a crock pot, and I got surf and turf. Oh yeah. Yummy. Let's see, I got that science machine now. I really need to get rid of this garbage thatch pack and make myself a proper backpack here. Let's see, we can combine those. We'll just drop these limpets on the ground for the moment. Now, hopefully no snakes will come over. You know what? Let me pick them back up, just in case. I don't want the shit to get snaky on me. Let's see. We'll drop the charcoal. Now, I'm going to want to um, to start making some storage pretty darn quickly. Oh. I, I got surf and turf to spare. So, uh, right out of the gates, anyway, I want to make a backpack... I got the goods for it. Let's see, I want to dump this thatch pack off up there somewhere. Where I'm not constantly accidentally picking it up. And now I got a proper backpack. I'm going to be able to get some more... Some more, uh... More collecting, more gathering, and definitely more storage. I'm just going to add this fueler right here. See, do I have... I don't have enough limpets to make uh, another batch before this monster meat goes. Let's see. Oh, maybe I do. Looky here. Oh, I'm getting surf and turf in abundance. Yes! Alright, now without further ado, I can't wait another second. I gotta get over and check out that X marks the spot as I want to see what kind of hotness... It left me there. So where was that? It's on that next island right over. Now is this... Uh, where's my raft? It's right across there. I'm wondering... Oh, you know what? I want some wood too. I'm going to get over and get that damn chest first thing. Now uh, after that I'm going to want to do some tree clearing over here. And uh, get a nice collection of wood. As I want some chests right away. I've got 63 durability left on this raft, so it's going to be fine to get me there and back as long as I don't get too carried away with running into these waves. God, I still can't believe I found a message in a bottle and gears right out of the gates. Man, I'm loving that shit. Oh yeah. Anyway, like I said, I got hopes of this being a really long series as I'm completely digging the game. And uh, as everyone knows, I'm really focused on Dungeon Defenders 2 right now. But it's uh, kind of at a spot where I'm about ready to switch back over to, and play on the PS4 for a while. So this is uh, a nice little break in between uh, platforms for DD2. Now, of course, my limpets are respawned. And that's kick-ass. Uh, that's another Surf and Turf right here with uh, just one bit of monster meat. See, do I have more limpets on this island? Yeah, there's one up there by the X marks the spot. I'll grab it on the way. And, oh, you know what? Dang it. I guess I can go ahead and grab this stuff, too. I'm going to end up wanting to uh, to make a farm for some grass and some twigs. So, uh, why not just start grabbing it now? I've got the storage space. Actually, I may not. After I hit that chest, I'm hoping I get some fat loots up in there. But we'll see. We will indeed see. Now, uh, I also could grab that beehive while I'm over here. Do I want to send Abigail on the job already? What the hell? I got Abigail on duty over there. Come on, girl. Take them bees out. The killer bees will follow you, so... Do I want to give the girl a hand? What the hell? I got stingers. Give the girl a hand here. Stingers mean boat repair kits, and that's kind of kick ass. Alright. Oh, she never even finished the damn beehive. That's alright, all the bees are dead. Be able to collect up a piece of cake. Now, I got no room for my chest, though, but I, I'll, I don't care. <laughs> In fact, I'll free up a spot right here by just planting these twigs here and coming back for some twig farming later as I want to get up there and see what's in that bad boy. Now, um, 
I need Abigail up here. Come on, girl. There could be baddies up in the ground. Let's see. Shovel? Where'd you go, old shovel? There you are. See, I got some bone shards there. Let's see, let's eat the seed. And what do we got? We got a seashell suit for free. Two doubloons and a spear and a football helmet. All for free. How kick ass. Now I'm going to have to dump some stuff. Let's see. Uh, grass tufts. That seashell suit is just going to save me from having to make it. So. Now, do I want to dump those seashells? I don't think I want to do that. Let's see, we can get rid of this torch. But to be honest with you, I can probably get rid of those bone shards. Let's see. The seashell shell suit, the hat. Can't pass on the doubloons. The spear, I'm going to have to get rid of something. Let's see, do we want to get rid of the bone shards? Let's get rid of this machete. I can make another machete. And there we go. Now there's also a chest. I can hammer that bad boy. But I kind of, I got what I want. So I'm thinking about leaving that stuff and getting out of here. Now uh, I will farm. Dang it. Let me unequip the, the dang shovel so I quit space barring into stuff. I will grab whatever I pass by here, but then I want to get back over. And do I want... I, I said I needed wood. You know what? I'm going for it. If I get tree guards over here, I don't really care. Um, I can easily avoid them to come over and grab the limpets whenever I want. Drop that. Now you can kind of satiate the tree guards by replanting the jungle seeds. If you replant these coconuts, it's not going to make a, They don't give a shit. Have a little surf and turf. Let's just go ahead and eat two of them. Since um, I've got plenty of surf and turf related goodness. I hate to waste this football helmet too, but on the same note, I don't want to... Uh, Where's the raft down below? I think I'm going to have to park on this island. I'm not going to be able to make it back across before it gets dark. Or am I? With with such an awesome start, I really don't want to go for it. I'm chicken shit. So, let me throw a fire down right here. I'll hammer down on these rocks while I'm waiting. And that will uh, actually free up another bag space. Because I'll be able to get rid of the get rid of the pickaxe and make a new one once I get over there. Remember not to hammer the limpets. <laughs> I saw a couple people do that and it's just like, ah, oh, come on, man, really? <laughs> you just hammered the limpets. What the hell? Let's see. Anything I need to get rid of? Nah, I think I'll be good to head on across now, but I'm going to have to wait out the night. Got some honey, got some honeycomb. All I need to do now is capture some bees. And uh, I'll be ready to go for making my my first little bit of honey production. Sweet potatoes, honey. The honey lasts a while too before spoiling, which is kinda kinda awesome. This blue gem. I, I just need I need logs right now. I need to be able to make some chests to throw this stuff in the chests and uh, kind of want to organize my storage a little bit. I don't want to, you know, spears are pretty cheap to make, but I hate to give away a free spear that was at 100%, you know what I'm saying? See, if I still had that torch, I'd run down to where the raft is to take advantage of every available moment, but not really necessary. It's about to pop to daylight. So I really wouldn't have been able to get that big of a head start anyway. Here's the raft way out there. Day 7 now. So I got uh, what dogs could come at any time, really. Damn doggies. 
but I've got the basis for a, a damn nice camp. Um, at this point, I need to start preparing. I, well, I need to get storage. As soon as I get storage squared away, I need to start preparing for some farming. And in fact, I think I've actually got enough gold to go ahead uh, and lay down maybe a lightning rod, which is also going to be a crucial part of the operation. And perhaps get, uh, get my alchemy going. Oof. This raft is getting low and I'm being careless. No more carelessness juice. What are you thinking? Alright, so the football helmet's not losing any durability. I guess it, it doesn't lose any durability unless I get hit, huh? I, uh, I always forget these things. Now, uh, I did find that, that message in a bottle right out of the gates. But also remember that those are recurring, so I can find another one and get another X marks the spot, and that's just that's pretty kick ass right there. So let's see, do I get did I get enough? I think it's I don't. I'm one board short. Huh. Well, what do I want to do? I could hammer. I, I might. You know what? Let me do that. I'm gonna want to hammer this anyway. Where's the hammer? There we go. Did I already have a hammer? I don't think so. I can, uh... I can get myself a boat repair kit. And is this going to give me boards or logs? That's giving me logs. But I need logs, so that's all good. And in fact, that was enough logs. To make another board, I believe. And was that all I needed? Now that's two boards, but I've got enough. So fantastic. There's my first chest, but now I don't have any boards. <laughs> or I don't have any wood. I've only got two left, which is uh, weak. But let's get a chest on the ground. That's what, structures? Chest. And uh, where do I want to put the chest? I'll just stick it right there next to that crock pot. Now I want to get... what do I want to get? Before I even worry about the alchemy engine, which I think I've got enough to get, or just some logs away, I want to lay down a lightning rod. So I'm going to need one cut stone. I want to get this out of the way, and then I'm not going to have to think about it. And uh, not having to think about it is cool. Very cool. So let's see, we'll just smack that bad boy down right in the middle of camp. Uh, pick some of this stuff up, as I don't want anything uh, being looted unnecessarily. See that gold I don't need anymore. Uh, this gem I don't need to carry. Those stingers I don't need to carry. And certainly not the honey and the honeycomb. Um, until I get ready to go with that stuff. Let's see, we'll get that coral in there. This boat repair kit. That frees up uh, some nice inventory spaces. The bone shards I'm going to throw on the ground right next to it. And uh, let's see, do we want to grab some monster meat and get... You know what, let me drop this hammer too. Or I'm going to need that hammer, aren't I? Drop the doubloons. Let's go over here and get uh, get some more wood and probably end up getting some monster meat in the process as I'm sure some snakes are going to spawn. I'm, I'm pretty stoked the way this is going so far. I like uh, the, the time progression. And uh, how far along I've come at this point. Now I'm not going to bother replanting these seeds until I clear it because this whole area is going to be farmland. We got eggs. I'm just, in fact, I'm just going to hammer down trees. Now I can get bananas out of these guys too, which the bananas. You know that's what's good about the jungle trees. Besides um, not having to worry about the tree guards as much with them. Uh, it, they drop food, so you know we get, you get bananas. Ooh, oh, poisonous snake! All right, get my seashell armor on right away. Send Abigail to work, and there is my first poison baddie. All right, didn't uh, didn't take any shots, which is nice. In fact, I'm just going to start clearing this stuff right now get these extra logs is I, I do want to get another chest laid down and I really want to have a full stack of logs just sitting because you know you can never run out of enough you, you can never have enough logs you know what I'm saying 
Let's see. Poisonous snake on day seven. Now, the poisonous snakes, of course, become uh, much more frequent as you progress. And there's a banana right there. Can use that bad boy to lure some monkeys in to some monkey, monkey hell. Let's go ahead and eat that surf and turf. And let's see, what does that leave me? I got 20, so I got one full stack right now. In fact, I'm not going to pull this stump yet. As uh, those guys might regrow before I get to the point where I'm ready to clear this area for for proper farming. Now, day seven, I got the lightning rod down. I got the chimney down, which are both uh, pretty big milestones. So now I want some monster meat. Make some more. There's some monster meat right there. I'm gonna let uh, let Abigail take care of business with these guys, and uh, I'll probably get a bunch of monster meat up out of the deal here. Get them, Abby. The snakes are, are really, you know, since I'm I'm making the the uh, surf and turf, I'm I'm not overly concerned about taking a little bit of damage. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see, uh, I got some extra charcoal. I don't want to waste it though. Let's just throw, um, throw a log from this stack in the fire here. Get this fire going. Let's get this crock pot working again. There's a surf and turf right there. And I've actually got enough to lay down another chest. Which, of course, um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go uh, go out cheap with the storage. I'm going to have a nice, nice bit of storage here. See, there's charcoal I can lay down. What was I refining? I was refining logs, that's right. We were refining boards to make a chest. Lost, uh, lost focus there for a minute. Let's get this chest in as tight as I can to the other one. Just as I don't really have to worry about this stuff too much because of, um, because of having that lightning rod already. See, I almost have some rot. We'll put those doubloons right there. Let's, um... I, I can't remember how you make the bacon and eggs. What is it? Two eggs? Will a monster meat work? And maybe a sweet potato as filler? Let's try that. See what, uh... See what it comes up with. See, grab all this stuff back. Let's get, uh, get some more storage going on here. See, doubloons. This seaweed's gonna go stale. The seashells I don't need. Doing great on sanity. There no, that's, uh, pierogi, is it? Yeah, there we go. Got a little pierogi. You know, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that now. Uh, just because the, I think the surf and turf lasts a little bit longer than that. Now, uh, it's definitely time to start preparing for some farms. It's day eight. I'm going to have hounds here in no time. But I want to be prepped up for farms. Now, I'm not going to bother too much with, um, you know, I'm not going to move anything that's on this island already. I'm just going to let it stay where it is because I'm going to be running around the island anyway, uh, collecting up these limpets. In fact, one more in a monster meat, and I got yet another surf and turf. Oh, I've got the monster meat, so I just need one more limpet. And I'm not really to the point where I want to even bother with trapping yet, either. I'm still, uh, I'm doing good. You know, I'm good on health. I've got a lot of food items still. So, uh, no reason to waste any time. I want to get right to building out my base so that i got the proper farms and everything right here. And uh, everything's ready to go. Now, I'm going to need a bunch of saplings and a bunch of grass. Now, I don't want to, one, another reason why I don't want to move it around from this island is, you know, I want to get outside resources closer to me. Completely screwed the pooch on that, uh, that bit of grass there, huh? See, now, do I have another limpet somewhere here? I think I've hit them all. So, I can't make another surf and turf yet, but I'm in good shape, so that's not really a big deal. Now, I do want to clear the immediate area, though. So, like this, uh, 
Let's get something cooking anyway here. Let's see, I've only got two limpets. Let's see what that makes. I'm sure it'll make something. Let's see, where's my shovel? There it is. I can get rid of those snake skins too. The the snake skin will be very abundant, particularly when it goes when we get closer to um, which season is it's the hurricane season, I think. The reason I'm getting this stuff out is because I want a clean palette to work with with my farms. Uh, so I'm not, you know, not going to destroy this stuff here, but I am going to move it around just a little. So I don't really need to eat yet, but, you know, I can be topped off. That stuff's... see, the Ratatouille? Gave me a little bump, anyway. I think that one's probably pretty far... far south. I didn't really need to clear it, but whatever. Let's see, let's get rid of these snake skin and free up a spot. Let's see, and I'm gonna want... Let's put, uh, saplings up top. So I'm just going to plant this sapling right there, and let me, let me just get that backpack out of my life, as this backpack is just going to torture me through, uh, through the entire series. So I'm going to just get it out of my life, move it over there, oh yes, the limpets, the limpets are OP, I, I gotta say. They respawn very, very frequently, so it makes uh, some pretty, pretty much easy, easy getting with the food. I've still got abundances of it. Now, um, I think I want to probably get some. Well, I'm doing pretty good on wood. Let's just eat these. Or I'll just drop these seeds. Let the birds have them. To hell with you. Let's see, what, uh, see, we had this island up here. Was there many limpets on it? I don't remember. It looks like there was not very many. There's four, but that island's pretty big. But I do want to get a chest up there and put an axe and stuff in it right by that touchstone. That way I don't have any issues there. So let me see, do I have enough? I've got enough to make three, uh, three logs now. Let me go ahead and get my grass farm started. We're going to go with the grass right down here, I think. Saplings up top, grass down below. And, uh, you know, I need to get that stuff fertilized, obviously, but it's looking good for now. And in fact, am I ready to just throw a stack of grass in the chest? I like to have backups, you know? I think I may wait until I get a fresh day. Some more doubloons there. I want to make sure I have lots and lots of ammo if I find me a slot machine. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't work in a machine in a casino and not play the slots and don't starve. That just wouldn't be right. So uh, if I can find that slot machine, you know I'll be playing the slots. Oh yeah. That's for damn sure. See, four grass is not really a whole lot to be hauling around. I want to put a stack in backup. And then I also probably need to make a new boat. What I'll go do is I'll go up to those monkey islands and completely rape rape the land of everything that's there. But I want to get some stuff in storage back home here. And, in fact, I can make some whatever food just to take with me in case I'm there for a while. And it'll free up some more bag spaces. Uh, let's go with that. See what we get. I'll get something. It'll be edible. So, no problem there. So, let's get a full stack of grass in there. We'll put this grass back down here. I like to keep my resources, you know, in a certain spot on the bar there so I can, I can see them all. And so on and so on. Oh, I got the meatballs from that. I'd have never guessed. The meatballs actually provide quite a bit of a hunger re uh, return, so I'll just go ahead and pop those bad boys there now. I do need to get this fire going. And I've been saving these jungle trees for a long time. 
So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Day eight. I'm going to have some doggies coming in no time. And uh, obviously, I'll have to make sure I'm in a position to put those guys down. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back soon with some more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. See ya!